My name is Suzanne Marciano. I'm 58 and I've been with this company now four years. Without this company, I don't know what I do because I see my doctors very regularly. Established in 1999, the Sir Rodin and Lady Cutler Foundation assists people in need of transport to meet their medical and health needs. This service aids the elderly and the physically disabled when no one else can help them. This free service ultimately improves and enhances the quality of their life. So who is behind the service that helps when no one else can? My name is Vince Delzio and I'm the um, Chief Executive Officer of the um, Sir Rodin Lady Cutler Foundation. Well, my name's Val and a few years ago I retired and I thought um, I might like to do some volunteering, so that's why I'm here. I came over to retire, started doing some volunteer work for the charity and now I work for them full time. A friend of mine turned up in one of the Rodin Cutler cars one day just to say hello, he was passing by. And I said, well, what's the car about? And he said, well, he explained what he did, you know, picking people up, taking them to hospital and appointments and disabled people. And he said, I said, look, I, that would suit me, actually. It would be good for someone retired with, you know, good health. And if you're happy enough and confident to drive, if you've got time and, uh, you know, a certain uh, feeling for those who are way less privileged than, than we are, then uh, it seemed a good thing to do. Uh, well, it's pretty straightforward. We have a computer. It's actually, we've got a programming system for um, bookings and organising trips, etc. Um, it's a system used by the um, local authority community transport services, um, which is rather bureaucratic and complicated, but we sort of use it in a simplified form. So most of my time is spent sitting here. Um, I take all the bookings, I enter them in the system, I create the rosters, I liaise with the volunteer drivers, I keep the cars on the road, I do everything. So my role is basically to look after all the administration, finances, and also all the fundraising for the foundation. Personally, I'm, a, I'm an ex-banker, I used to be a chief executive officer of a bank, and, um, or actually a credit union. I've been banking since I left school um, back in, um, well, how old am I now? About uh, 35 years ago. So um, with that, we used to sponsor the Serena Land and Cutler Foundation, the bank I was involved with. And after I left there, um, they asked me to come in and um, look after the um, foundation, which is where I am today. So who are the people who benefit from this foundation? I see one doctor in Macquarie Street two or three times a week and then I've got other doctors as well. So without them it would cost me a lot of money otherwise going to these places. So, it, And as well as these people are trained to sort of help with people with all disabilities from wheelchairs to walkers and, and I think you need that to get around. So they help a lot of elderly people as well that can't get around to help them as well to get to their medical appointments. But for me, I'd be lost without them. I wouldn't be able to go as often as I do without them. I mean, I'd be lost without them. I, I, like I say, I wouldn't be, I'd have to catch public transport otherwise, and that's difficult, because buses don't always, when you're trying to get off, they don't stop properly, and they can jar you around. And uh, whereas here, they're not, help you getting on and off into the car. Um, I got found through this company through the MS Society. I have multiple sclerosis and um, when my father died um, he was my driver, my dad, and uh, so the MS Society said that about the service so I could get to my medical appointments and um, yeah, so it was the MS Society that found the colour for me. Um, the drivers are all nice and friendly. Um, and they all give out their time personally. They're all volunteer drivers. They don't get paid to drive. They do it because they want to. The cars are all donated from companies and whatever. Um, so with what they got to work with, they do extremely well. So yeah, it's a, it's a great service. So my name is Sarah Lee. I'm 
name's Emma and I've been using this service for three years and um, I find it to be a really good service and I was referred to it by another organisation and so um, I find them to be very reliable and that they're very helpful. I'm actually born in Vietnam, believe it or not, not that you would know to hear it, but, yeah. but I actually came here when I was very young. So of course I was educated here, mm. So and I can speak a little bit of Vietnamese, not a great deal. Why do I need it? Um, because it, 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 it enables me to get to some of the places that I would not normally be able to, and so yeah. it's a service like this that is very helpful and that they can take me to um, you know the places that my friends don't have the time. So what does the service do for you? Well they take me to um, medical appointments. I, I'd never heard of Sarada and Cutley to be honest until um, three years ago um, until I was referred um, because I had relied on other um, services to take me but as with anything, they can be very much overbooked. And so it's always good to have um, several services at your disposal. It's a wonderful service, it's very reliable and the, the people who drive the cars are very, they're wonderful, they're friendly and very professional and very efficient. At the end of the day, um, a lot of these people, as I mentioned, are either physically or mentally handicapped. A lot of them also have no finances. So the fact that we can provide them with this transport that helps them get the necessary medical attention they need gives me a hell of a lot of satisfaction knowing that they are getting better, they are getting the attention. And it also helps them to interact with the community once again and become part of, become socially acceptable again, which is really, really important to a lot of people's lives. So it's a, it's a very, it's a very, how can I put it, uh, it's, a, it's a job that makes you feel very, very good when you go home at night. And me personally, I just gives me a hell of a lot of satisfaction that we are helping people and we're making a huge difference out there. So that's what motivates me to keep going and to make sure we can continue to fund the foundation and help as much as we possibly can.